So now let's go ahead and meet one of the filmmakers that's part of the program. Everyone I talk to on a one-on-one -on -one basis is usually very interested in art. They feel alienated from contemporary art, like somehow there's a secret they're not getting yet. If the whole American discourse about the arts is controlled by six people in New York City, that's a limited perspective. So that right there is part of the trailer for the documentary of Out of the Picture by Mary Louise Schumacher, who joins us now here. And first of all, congrats. I mean, this is an amazing project here. But I have to ask, you put a documentary together about art critics, not necessarily yeah. artists. Why? That's right. Well, I mean, there have been so many films that have been made about um, artists, and this will be literally the first documentary, feature-length documentary film made about art critics ever in the US. And I feel like it's a, it just, it's a wonderful field. It's, it started out in a very personal way because I was myself an art critic here in Milwaukee. I worked for the local newspaper, um, the, the journal Sentinel. And what I noticed was happening was it was a field that was very important, but going away. You know, there were, there were art critics across the country that were being let go from their positions. And I really kind of started this project thinking about, you know, what would that mean? What would it look like for cities like Milwaukee or Billings, Montana or Seattle, um, Washington to not have these people on the ground who are kind of bearing witness to what artists are doing. Yeah. Um, so that's sort of where it started. Yeah, yeah, of course. And I mean, and you just get a bunch of different perspectives that way. Now, I have to ask, of course, we're still in the pandemic. Did COVID have yeah. an impact on your work? It did. Um, we were in the midst of finishing production when COVID hit, and I'm really proud to say that we were able to get COVID training. And um, we did production in 10 cities over 27 days during a global pandemic. That was very difficult to do, um, but we did it. And it has um, put our timeline behind a little bit. It has meant a couple of fundraisers have had to be canceled, including one just this month. Um, but our work continues, and now that we're kind of transitioning mostly out of production and into post-production, that's a much tighter group of people, and that's that's kind of easier to do um, when COVID is okay. raging. Yeah, no, and I got a chance to see the entire trailer, and it's very interesting, caught my attention. Lots of questions, right, still left unanswered. So I do want to ask, when can we see it? When is What's the next big step here? Yeah, the next big step is we should have a, a rough cut by the summer, a final cut by late summer, and then we will begin applying to festivals in the fall. So the hope is that you, we will be screening this at festivals for about a year, starting in 2023. And then after that, we're really hoping that this kind of sparks a national conversation about the role of the arts, our changing relationship to the arts and culture. Um, and that will happen in art galleries and journalism schools and um, lots of other kind of smaller, more community-based settings. And that will happen for a year after that. All right, Mary Louise, looking forward to following along with those developments there. You can take part in the Critical Content virtual event January 17th through the 19th. Several documentary filmmakers, including Mary Louise, will be featured. You can find more information and a link to RSVP on nostudios.com. We'll be right back.